Hi everybody, it's Miss Susan from the Buffalo Neary County Public Library and I'm back today with another quick family art break. This is something that can take as long or as little of a time as you have focus and there's lots of different techniques that you can use. So join me as we do some wax paper painting. It's pretty cool. Okay, so you can make your setup as simple or as elaborate as you like. The only things that you absolutely have to have for this project are some, yes, you guessed it, wax paper and some kind of paint. Uh, this is washable tempera. I spent like $15 on all this paint on Amazon and I've used a lot of paint. I've been using this for all of our projects lately and I've only just cracked into it. So it's definitely been uh, worth the investment. Um, then some tools that you can use to put the paint on. You can use classic paintbrush technique, right? Woohoo! Uh, sponge brushes. Um, and then I have some paper towel tubes that I thought might be fun to experiment with, as well as some little plastic lids and caps. And if you have an older or child or someone with a lot of focus, I took a little bit of school glue and put in some black paint and it makes a very cool border if that is something that your child or you might be interested in for a real stained glass sort of technique. It's pretty cool. So some of you may think that the setup that I have here is kind of elaborate and I sort of do that on purpose because I want to create a space where I can say yes to whatever the kids may want to do when it comes to making art because then sort of impromptu um, things can happen that uh, kids can create kind of that weren't intended by you when you created the space to make the art. For example, a few weeks ago, uh, my little guy was seven at the time. He um, was working with me and we had the paper bags all spread out and we were talking about things or we were painting and then we looked I looked down and he had made all sorts of like little paintings on the um on the paper bags that was easy to kind of cut out and save and he's not one usually to draw like figures or you know like houses or ponies or something like he likes doing art but uh kind of more non-representational and this was really fun that he just painted this while we were talking and he was feeling, you know, less self-conscious about, you know, things. So creating that yes space, creating that um, area to do art, even if it's just temporary, is really great. I just wanted to show you some of our finished results. As you see, when you put them up to the window, they get a very cool stained glass, what is this, opaque look about them. I know the sun isn't directly shining in right now, but it really does, when it does, it shows all the colors really beautifully. Um, this is that roller technique that we did. Um, this is when I did earlier with the, um, the black glue border. One thing about the black glue that you have to think about is that it takes a really long time for it to dry. So if you hang it up too early, it's gonna start dripping. As you see, this one is still dripping. So definitely put it somewhere in the sun for a couple of hours. But when you're done, you'll see, you can see all the brush strokes, all of the interesting circles and thumbprints and swishes and swirls that your children have made and how the colors combine together. And again, it's process art. It's all about hanging out together, working with different materials, and having a good time. So I hope that you give this one a try. It was pretty fun in our house. We all had a good time. And I'll be back next week. Thanks. Take care. Bye.